So guys, today we're going to have a look at impact location, but this has been done before. What's going to be different about this? We're going to relay impact location back to a swing fault and figure out how you can then learn to find the centre of the golf club based off the incorrect impact location we find. So today we're going to have a look at where you strike the ball on the face and how that is impacting what you do in your golf swing because strike is the most important bit particularly on a driver okay because gear effect can come in but if you see a ball going offline are you often looking at the end result of that ball fight without actually having an idea whether it was just a bad strike or whether it was your swing so what we're going to do is we've sprayed the face up here this is dr Scholl's, which used dactar and if you're in the uk which is just a foot powder okay and all this does is we hit the ball and it shows up on the club face where we have actually struck it what this will do is it'll actually give us the idea of how to start to analyse and get to the root cause of your swing problems. It's going to hit a shot now, see where it comes on the face, and then after that, we're going to work through some solutions to fix that impact location. So, stood here on a nice par four at High Lee. So, get set up. Okay, so very slightly heel side of centre. Let's have a look what the root cause of that is. That's actually drawn a bit. Could it have been the swing fault? We don't know, but I think the impact a bit out. Let's have a look at what's causing that. So what we can see is my ball flight was a draw, but the ball came slightly towards the heel. When the ball is struck in the heel, gear effect is bringing that ball back towards the centre. Now, my path is always a little interrupt. My standard shot shape is a little draw, okay, which is exactly what I was aiming to hit down here. And my path was probably a little bit too far from the inside, knowing my tendencies, a little bit trapped, a little bit too far from the inside. So I extended my arms through impact more than I wanted to, which therefore brought the heel a little bit more out, which is why it was a heel strike. Now, knowing what your swing faults are is the number one thing, but actually, you can then find out what that impact location is doing so that you can become more consistent. But also understanding what is the impact location that means that you can play pretty solid golf and be able to control that ball flight. So for me, into out off the toe is destructive, gets too much draw and doesn't stay in the air. Into out from the heel, I'm almost getting sort of the impact location with the gear effect overriding the fact that I'm maybe a little bit too far into out and it's still giving me that standard shot because it didn't draw much at all that ball flight okay so that gear effect has really worked well for me but conversely if you are a guy who comes out to in and strikes it in the heel you're probably going to see that gear effect start to move that ball back out to the right and that's going to be a problem for you because you're going to see too much cut on the ball so i know that rory who is into out i'm not trying to compare myself to rory here by any stretch of the imagination but he says that because he's into out his tendency is to strike it a little in the heel as his bad strike and the two work nicely with one another if you are out to in just to bear this in mind but also you are towards the toe that's going to be a killer this may be something that we'll look at in a future video but to stay on point here, what we're doing is this heel strike It is three causes or three most common causes of a heel strike. So what have we got? We've got, obviously, trying to set up with it in the middle of the face because that's where you want to return the centre back to the ball. So you've either got weight moving onto your toes, which is pushing me forwards towards the golf ball. That's going to get that heel strike. We've got the arms, okay, working outwards too much on their own trying to provide power not turning so not getting the body out the way and rotating through getting those arms forward okay the other one is going to be that i see this in a lot of players and this is my tendency is i'll get out of the way of it quite early arms will just be a little bit behind me here and therefore i then have to extend the arms out to get that club on the ball which is obviously from there you could see if i'm trapped and i let those arms go out that's that heel moving out towards the ball. So 
trapped weight moving forwards or an armsy swing is going to get those heel strikes, okay? So knowing what it is is your tendency out of those three common ones, there's loads more, okay? But three pretty easy ones right there. What you're then going to look at is how can you fix that? That's got to be the most important bit, hasn't it? But it's knowing that if you saw that ball and I saw that strike, I might have said, that was an absolutely perfect shot. Tiny little draw. It's only when I looked at the impact location, I've gone, it's a bit towards the heel, that. So my path was a little bit too far inside to give me that perfect shot. What am I going to do to get a centred contact, but also make sure that centred contact doesn't result in too much draw? Let's have a little draw. look at a dead simple drill that you can apply to help you with this solution. Okay, so we've got a really simple drill set up here. Got head cover just on the outside of the ball the idea is going to be that if it's going to give me the visual reference of not trying to move it out i'm just going to be trying to get those arms a little bit more matched to that body so i get that center strike so give this a go right now i'm going to just see if we can just get nice centered strike here so getting that feeling making sure from the top there i'm not trapped i've got the arms a little bit more in front of the body for me the reference point will be making sure that the club isn't coming or working out through the ball. Let's give this a go. It's about three dimples near a centre. A little bit nearer, but not in centre. But it's got a little bit in that direction. I need it to get more that way, but it's a start. So what I could do is I can start working at this here and I make it a little bit tougher by maybe bringing that head cover in as a visual reference to make it a little bit tougher still. Like I say, it's a tiny bit nearer centre. It was definitely a straighter ball flight, but what I'm after now is how can I start to move that in? It's a start. Don't expect miracles straight away. Same as you guys shouldn't manage that expectation level when you're working at these changes. So overall, I'm pleased with that, okay? But if I keep moving that head cover and make it more difficult, I know that that centered contact will start to come every single time, but also understand where you want that miss if it's not gonna be a pure strike, where you want it to be and how that fits in with your swing problems. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, comment below, let me know. Is it something you wanna see more of this sort of thing in a series of finding out how to find solutions to ball flight with your game and some drills to help you understand what causes the strikes in different quadrants and different places on the club face. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk to you again very soon.